Okay, the weirdest thing happened. Someone that works for Air Canada was nice to me. <laughs> I'm checked in for my flight, it is 7.15. So tired. Flying to Air Canada has actually have, has had its benefits today, which are that I have been forced to fly with them so often that I have a lot of frequent flyer points, so I got like priority perks. So I'm in the lounge right now, I'm gonna steal all the cookies and all the drinks, and then I'm about to board and we're headed to LA. Bye, Tomano. Don't get too excited, okay? We're not com we're not made up. We're just on speaking terms right now. Party story. I'm boarding the plane, and the girl who's like checking my boarding pass, she's like, oh, she's very nice. She's like, I saw your videos. And I was like, oh, thank you. She's like, about Air Canada. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure you're very nice. She's like, honestly, I don't blame you. I get it. But like, some of us are nice, and she was so nice. That's two nice people at Air Canada. Oh my god, good job. Thank you today for representing Canadians well. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm about to board this plane. I'm gonna knock out, need some sleep, and I'm so excited to land back in the sunshine. Yes, I'm wearing the same happiness pants. I don't care. These are my, you know why I can tell you why? The kangaroo pouch is perfect to keep my passport in. That's the excuse I'm using. That's what I'm saying. My life is so chapped. Uh. Look at this cake being baked over here. Mm. Yeah, Window C. Yeah, yeah. This plane is massive, by the way. Look how many rolls this is. Go boom, it's a plane or a stadium. Back in LA. Oh, my ears are plucked. But it's okay, because Ashton Kutcher wasn't on the plane this time, and I embarrassed myself. But, um, speaking of which, let me just throw to a clip that I'm now able to show you. Remember that time I was in the trailer a few vlogs ago? And I couldn't tell you? I cannot tell you. So, welcome to the secret project. Very small thing in a big project. I was working on, I'm gonna throw that clip right now and go. All right, so like years ago, I vlogged when I was in the first trailer of my first movie and I had this little vlog where I was like, this is the first trailer of your first movie and you're gonna do it again and sign the contract. It's a really small role. Um, it's Mila Kunis' new movie with Christina Applegate. Someone's at the door, sorry. Um, it's a really small movie. It's Mila Kunis and Christina Applegate's new movie. It's called Bad Moms, and I have a small two-line cameo, but I'm really excited because I get to act alongside Christina Applegate, which is like huge. She's so nice. Mila Kunis just came up to me and was like, dude, uh, I knew you flew in with my husband. Remember how I flew in on the plane with Ashton Kutcher? I couldn't tell you why, but obviously. Um, and she's like, I watched your videos last night. My assistant like loves your stuff, and I watched your videos last night, and you're effing hilarious. And I was just like, oh my god. So I'm signing the stuff for that right now. Like I said, it's very, very a very small cameo but still like this is experience and it's good and it's, it's gonna help me feel more comfortable about this stuff and everyone is super duper nice and the amount of girl love on this set warms my heart like all the girls are so nice to each other it's really really great isn't that awesome isn't that awesome ah, i'm so excited i'm so so excited for it um she was so dope christina Applegate was so dope um so so nice and so welcoming and I'm hoping I told you the whole story if not I'll watch it again and tell you properly now I'm back in LA the plane was freezing cold so I didn't get any quality sleep because it was freezing 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 cold um, but I am headed home now All right, let me tell you the story properly now in case I didn't because I don't remember what I actually told you in the vlog or not But basically when I was on set, I was so intimidated My scene is actually a very small scene. It's only like two or three lines. It's with Christina Applegate She was so nice to me. She was so warm and so welcoming and um, Then I was in the trailer and Mila Kunis walks in and I was like hi uh, My name is Lily and she's like yeah, you flew with my husband yesterday and then she like had a whole conversation with me and She was telling me how she's not too familiar with the internet space, but Oh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry. The exact words were, you know, I'm not too familiar with like the internet space. My assistant is like in love with you. He loves your stuff. So I watched a bunch of your videos last night and you're hilarious. And I was like, don't kill me. Mila Kunis thinks I'm hilarious. And then she was just so cool and chill and down to earth and like hot and just like so much girl love happening on that set. Like as Mila Kunis walked in, she was getting Valentine's to all the other girls on set. Christina Applegate knew the other girls on set were sick. She was sending them gift baskets. It was so much girl love. They were so sweet, so nice. So when that movie comes out, I have like a two line cameo in it, which I'm very excited about. I know it's small, but it's kind of cool. This book is in my nose. Um, also, so that happened. I'm gonna post a picture on Instagram right now. I'm very excited about it. Now you know why I was excited and why I was in where I was. Look what I came home to. Look what I came up to. Yes! I told you I wasn't lying. I have the vlogging camera. It's a newer one, so I will start vlogging with that. And we'll go back to the fish eye. Some of you might like that. Some of you might not. But that's what's happening. I'm very excited about it all. Uh, I can't wait to clean my place because it's kind of been destroyed. And also, I have to poop. And also, I, at some point, need to sleep. But we'll 
figure out which order we're gonna do those things in. Another package in the mail is actually sent to Kingsley's house because I ordered it so long ago, but I know exactly what it is. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? La 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 la. Superwoman Vlogs! One million subs play button, yo! Dear Superwoman Vlogs, you're bigger than Vancouver, you're bigger than Venice. Superwoman Vlogs, you're even bigger than Las Vegas. One million subs, son! Hey, now I can finally have one here because the one for the main channel is in Toronto. And I can have one here, yay! It was supposed to be a one hour nap. It was supposed to be a one hour nap. But it was a three hour nap at 6.15. Not the end of the world, but... 6.15. All right, I just, first of all, I look crazy, but I just finished cleaning the place as best as I could, um, vacuumed and all that stuff, sweeped, um, printed out a bunch of scripts. I have two auditions tomorrow, um, and so that's a lot of memorization I gotta do. Uh, tomorrow's also a video day. My stomach is like upset. I don't know if it's all the travel, all the crap I've been eating, I have no idea. But I might have some soup or something right now. It is quite early, it's only like 7.38, but I'm trying to go to bed at like 10. Uh, cause I have to wake up early morning for an audition. Also, I just posted the Mila Kunis picture and everyone's like so happy. It's, it's a really small cameo, so it's not like a huge, huge deal, but like, it's still really exciting. And I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, and I have one more mini surprise coming soon. But you'll have to wait for that one. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. You got to hold on me, hold on me, hold on me. Eh. Another critical thinking moment. So it is all over Twitter now. Well, not all over Twitter. There's a few tweets about it from like E Online, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that Taylor Swift is donating $250,000 to Kesha in support of her court case, uh, just as like a sign of support. And I remember when the whole Kesha situation blew up on Twitter, so many people started being like, Taylor Swift, where are you at now? You're supposed to be a feminist, where are you at now? And I like, tweeted being like, not that my tweets matter, but I tweeted being like, in moments like this, the answer is not to blame other women about what they're doing and not doing. It's to come together. Like, turning against each other doesn't solve anything. And if you look at Taylor Swift's Twitter, she doesn't tweet anything. So, yeah, okay, there's probably like some strategy in marketing. Of course, it got out anyways through the media that she donated. But the point I'm making is you can't judge people's actions based on what they tweet and don't tweet. Many people might do great things and just not tweet about it. And if you think about it, sometimes actions in the real world can do much more than a tweet. So I just encourage you all to think critically when it comes to that stuff that just because something, someone tweets something, it doesn't mean they actually believe it. And just because someone doesn't tweet something, it doesn't mean they're not doing something to help the cause offline. So that's my moment of critical thinking. Um, you're not only what you tweet, you are what you do, not what you tweet. So. Uh, just took a shower, felt great. My stomach is like a little bit woozy. I think I just need to like go on a little bit of cleanse and like drink a lot of water and eat a lot of greenery and ish like that because right now everything upset with me. Um, I'm going to head to bed, it's like nine, but I'm going to memorize some lines, check some emails, edit this vlog, go to sleep, get an early night, wake up refreshed, that's the plan. Get back on track for the two days I'm here. Tomorrow's Monday, I'm leaving Tuesday. But I would have sent an email to my team being like, hey, from now until my next travel thing, which I cannot tell you about yet, I don't want to travel. I know I'm so used to traveling and I'm so about it, but I just need a little bit of time to be in one place so I can buy groceries, cook food. I, I, since I've moved to LA, I've only been able to buy groceries once, sorry, twice. Once when I first moved here, second time when people came over because I'm never here long enough to eat the groceries. I would like to buy groceries and I would like to cook things and I would like to do my laundry at a certain schedule and um, just, you know, be in one place. So I'm gonna hopefully try to do that. Uh, but thank you for joining me on another day. We are back in LA, back on the grind. Regardless of anything of how we feel, the grind is not stopping. Oh my God, I sound like Yusuf. He says something like that, right? Something about tea and grinding. There ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Speaking of which, he didn't give me a lap dance yet. This mother effer. I'm gonna have to call him up right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for joining me on another day. World domination, here we go. Team Super, we're in this together. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Yeah. This is Poo Poo. His name is Poo Poo. Right? No, your baby is not Poo Poo. He says Poo Poo for everything. Ow, poo poo. Ow, poo poo. Ow, poo poo. Poo poo. <laughs>